Welcome back everybody. Today I'm gonna talk about a gem I found called War Selection. Imagine this, you find yourself in the middle of nowhere during the Stone Age and you're trying to start a little village. Your people will need lots of food and also lots of wood to survive. The village has grown in size so it's time to put down a temple. Some time has passed, the little village added some storages and the temple was complete. This for now little tribe is about to reach the stone age, so in preparation a few more huts were placed down. More time has passed, now the little tribe has became a village, setting up some fishing stations and some farming grounds. Whilst building our training huts for soldiers, we got attacked by a wild boar. This boar was a formidable foe, but no match for our villagers. After a long time of peace, it seems like the neighboring village has been growing. So it's time to put up some defenses and gather up our troops. It seems like the neighboring village is under attack. It's time to strike. All the horsemen head to the capital. The enemy surrendered as the army approached, but it's not over yet. There's an enemy attacking this village. The culprit was spotted. Now it's all about finding their capital. Their capital is well defended. I think this battle is lost, but the army doesn't give up. They're sacrificing themselves for the greater good of the village. The cavalry fought hard, tried to defeat every single one in their path until the end. But alas, as one army dies, another one rises. After some time has passed and we were able to lick our wounds, it's time to attack again. The enemy hasn't only expanded but also grew in strength. This is another loss, but the army doesn't give up and tries to cripple their growth. The battle has been lost, but hopefully that slowed them down a little bit. Some ships were made to keep slowing them down further. The ships tried hard to cripple their resources and get their workers, but to no avail. The enemy has grew in power way too much.
the bear has been poked enough. After three attempts, he shows up knocking on the gate. This is it. This is our final hurrah. The whole village assembles to defend the town. The villagers and the army fought hard, successfully defeating the enemy, but at a cost. Having no more workers to work the land, the enemy resupplied himself and came back with a vengeance. And that's how the story of this town ends. And that's really the beauty of this game. The story is of rise and fall of civilizations, endless possibilities. This is it. Thanks everybody for watching. Leave a like and subscribe, leave a comment, especially tips. I'll leave a link of the game in the description below. See you guys later.